me has always been there. But now it's awake. And I need help. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. I was an Navy that, brat. That's right. Did that shape your your your? Body? I think it must have because I I was the middle of seven ch children. My dad was in the Navy, and we got transferred so much that I wound up going to nine schools in twelve years. So it was difficult because they're always coast to coast. San Diego's culture is completely different than Brooklyn, which is completely different than San Jose to Virginia and eventually Yokohama, Japan. So you were forced to be a chameleon in the sense that all you want to do at that age is fit in. You don't want to stand out or be made fun of. Right. Everyone wanted you. Wow. It seemed like it's so familiar, but so different. There were elements of swashbuckler movies and Robin Hood movies and World War II movies and all of these things, uh, but sort of mashed up into a, a, a whole new thing. And what struck me was the, the humor. There was so much human, relatable human uh, humor. Uh, the fact that the princess, rather than being grateful that we risk our lives to save her, said, you came in that? She doesn't want to ride in our spaceship because it's so beat up and dirty. You came nothing? You're braver than I thought. Nice, come on. It just had something that, uh, that was just goofy and, and childlike. And I think people forget, and George told me, these movies are made for children. He said, it's not my fault they grew up to be 45-year-old nerds. <laughs> I said, well, you hit the sweet spot, George, because they are for children, but they appeal to the child in all of us, regardless of our chronological age. We're going to see yeah. more of you in this one, right? You have to just I can tell you that my part in this one is twice as big as it was in episode seven. Mm, okay. <laughs> you do the math. I will do the math. One truth.